Um, hello everyone, this is Neurotics, aka Nero, making another tutorial for ExtremeHardware.net. What we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to properly use Ryzen DRAM calculator. This applies only to Ryzen 1000 through 5000 series processors using DDR4. It will not work with Zen 4 or Zen 5 and AM5. Um, so, first of all, um, a lot of people use this back in the day and they didn't know how to use it correctly. So that's what I'm going to show. So I'm going to open the calculator up right now. Okay. And um, there are numerous settings. So here, um, Zen 1 AM4, that's Zen 1000 series. Zen Plus AM4 is Zen 2000 series. At the bottom, Zen 2 AM4 is Ryzen 3000 to 5000 series. So we're going to pick that because that's what's in this system. Samsung B die. Well, you can find out what your dies are using another program we'll get to shortly. Um, so I'm just going to leave that, that, and um, calculate safe. Uh, calculate fast. If you do that, will a lot of the time give you timings that, like, if you uh, don't, what you need to do is import a profile into this. But um, it will give you timings that are way too tight that um, and at too low of a voltage where you would really need like a golden RAM kit for it to run these timings. Um, it's not doing it now, but before it was just giving me 15 for uh, TCL and uh, these here. It was giving me 15. Probably not going to work, um, especially if you're trying to run at 3800. Uh, so anyway, what we're going to do... So we minimize that for now and we're going to go to a program called Typhoon Burner. Now you can get both of these online if you search Ryzen DRAM Calculator you can get it from Tech Power Up. Down, download, pick a server, you can get it from Tech Power Up. It's really easy. Typhoon Burner has its own website however on its website the download is no longer available. So the first one that returns, Softpedia, um, is uh, looks a little shady, but I downloaded it from here, and it's the correct thing. With the, um, um, it has the files and nothing else for Typhoon Burner. Everything is identical to how it was when I got it from the website. So anyway, what we're going to do is open Typhoon Burner. And what we're going to do is click read right here in the middle. And it's going to read and it's going to give you a lot of information. So the series Flare X for AMD, you can see Samsung, you can see uh, right here it tells you it's B die. Um, but this doesn't really matter. What we want to do now is go to report. And when report, this is very important. This is what you do you go all the way to the bottom and it where it says show delays in nanoseconds that's what you need to do you click that okay and now what you do is you export to complete HTML report um, I'm going to put this on the desktop and then you're done with Typhoon Burner. That uh, uh, is your report on your memory. It gives you all kinds of details if you want to look through it in the uh, actual program. Um, so anyway, now that we have a profile, we can open uh, Ryzen DRAM calculator. We can go to import XMP at the very bottom left. And then we can point it to our uh, complete uh, report in nanoseconds that we just made with Typhoon Burner. Okay, so now you see it's a little different. Um, it shows the timings in uh, nanoseconds here. So now when you calculate safe or you calculate fast, you're going to get different results. Okay, um, you can see like the DRAM voltage is higher. Um, Power down mode disabled, gear down mode disabled. I would 
leave gear down mode on personally. Uh, BGS, this bank group swap, these things are all found in uh, the advanced uh, advanced AMD CBS menu uh, in your motherboard's BIOS. You have to find the AB, A AMD CBS menu. So we're, what you could do is you can take a picture of this with your phone, or you could take a screenshot of it and print it out. You're going to want the advanced tab too because that's going to give you also give you info about memory interleave size so you they're saying a lot of things you need to set other than timing so it's not just these timings but you need to set all this stuff correctly and you need to go and try and find all this stuff in your BIOS and uh, have it enabled, although spe spread spectrum uh, should be disabled. But um, that's, I think, about it for the tutorial. That's how you use this program correctly. You need to use Typhoon Burner and make a report and import it into the DRAM calculator. And remember guys, this is only for Ryzen 1000 through 5000 series. It'll work with any of them. What this rig that I'm on right now recording on is running is, uh, um, it is a Crosshair 8 Hero with a R9 5900X, uh, as well as uh, G Skill Flare X memory. So um, that's about it for the video, I think. Um, I hope this helps you if you are on an older platform and doing memory overclocking. So that's it, and I'm going to sign off.